Hello everyone. Today we have the pleasure of talking with Alan Zawaki, our newly appointed president of Hoshizaki America. Alan, thank you so much for joining us today. No, it's my pleasure. Thanks for the opportunity and congratulations on saying my last name right. It's not, <laughs> it's not intuitive for everybody. I've had a few chances to practice. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, okay, to start, uh, maybe you could just introduce yourself to the audience, share a bit about your background, professional journey, and what led you to take the role as president of our company. Yeah, sure. So um, I grew up a uh, military brat. For those of you that are familiar with that lifestyle, my dad was a 30-year uh, career Army guy. Um, he retired, and uh, I ultimately went uh, the same path, but not for quite as long as he did. Uh, after I graduated, uh, I got a, a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. I went into the Army myself as an engineer officer for four years. Um, decided that wasn't the career that I really wanted, so I uh, moved into the civilian world. Um, along the way, I've spent uh, 20 years in the air conditioning industry in a variety of roles of various multifunctional management responsibilities, um, three different profit and loss responsibilities. Um, that spanned two different manufacturers, air conditioning manufacturers, uh, as well as two very large distribution companies. Uh, after that 20 year stint, I um, decided to make a change, moved from air conditioning to food service, and that's where I joined Hoshisaki uh, two years ago, and I've been fortunate over the last couple of years as uh, Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing to have the opportunity to assume the uh, President's role of Hoshisaki America. So uh, yeah, it's, it's been an interesting journey, and I'm really excited about the future. Alan, your background is very impressive. Um, can you provide some insights as to how your previous experiences in your other companies have prepared you for your new role as president at Hoshizaki? Yeah, so again, I could take it back to my childhood. I spent you know, my childhood growing up as uh, in a military environment where we moved around every two to four years, and that in and of itself is pretty character building. Um, also played competitive sports while I was growing up, so I've always believed that being in a team competitive environment certainly sets you up for future uh, challenges, particularly with interacting with people and, and wanting to be on a winning team. And, and what, what's required to do that. Um, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention my four years in, in the Army. Uh, certainly a lot of great experiences uh, for a young 22 to 26 year old, having leading people, um, having you know overseas deployments to places um, like Central America and the Middle East certainly uh, provided opportunities for me that I think most would, uh, would not have, uh, have that privilege of. And then when I entered into the the real world, uh, I should say, the civilian workforce. Um, you know, again, I, I mentioned earlier, I had a number of managerial responsibilities, various functional areas, uh, profit and loss responsibility, responsible for 300 plus people in an organization. Um, all of those things, and, and with global companies for that matter, um, all of those things I think prepared me fairly well um, in good environments and not so good environments to. Uh, you know, help me be prepared to, to take on this challenge. Yeah, fantastic. Um, as you settle into your position, it's only been, what, four days now? Already. <laughs> what are your high-level goals for the midterm for the company and any specific areas that you plan to focus on to drive growth and success? Yeah, you know, market share growth is significantly important for us and continue to grow in profitability are the two main drivers that we're trying to accomplish. And, and you know, for me, I, I tend to oversimplify things, but I think there's a lot of truth in it. Uh, the two fundamental pillars to achieving those two things are, number one, uh, do we have a working environment where people enjoy working here? They want to work here and they don't want to leave. And two, do we have an environment where the customers, the partners, everybody we do business with wants to do business with us? With us? Um, that's, you know, if, if we do those two things right, the market share thing and the profitability thing takes care of itself. In addition to that, you know, the nuts and bolts, we'll continue to offer uh, new products, expanded product line. Uh, we want to continue to innovate with what we bring to the market, not just in terms of product, but in terms of our business as well and how we do business um, with, uh, with everybody. We're you know, investing significantly in technology as well, millions of dollars in technology over the next several years so that we can not only improve our internal efficiencies and costs to help that profitability angle, 
um, but also make us a, a better partner to work with with all of uh, all of the stakeholders that we do business with uh, in the market. Yeah, I know personally about all the technology, and it's really exciting. Some of the things that we've got going on. It's daunting and exciting. Well, yes, there you <laughs> go, both. Um, so, could you please outline you know, the theme of the key priorities that you're looking for the whole year of um, 2024 and beyond? Um, and maybe any specific initiatives, projects, or strategies that you plan to implement to achieve the goals you just outlined. Yeah, um, you know, I think it's important for us to. Um, really reinforce our message to the market and remind everybody of who Hoshizaki is. This is a great company uh, with a great you know team behind us. We've got great partners in the market. We've got two manufacturing facilities. That a lot of people don't even realize we've got the vast majority of our products are made here in the Atlanta metro area in Peachtree City, Georgia, and Griffin, Georgia. That's where our ice machines and, and most of our refrigeration comes from. We've got 15 going on 16 of our own distribution centers scattered across, uh, across the country, soon to be adding a 16th in Mexico. And a couple other things uh, are we've got you know, a great opportunity uh, to strengthen our alignment with our channel partners, the dealers and the service companies, uh, all of those entities that we do business with on a regular basis out there. So there's an initiative, particularly this year, to really strengthen those relationships even further by making sure we're aligned organizationally with those partners. Uh, and then training would be another one. Uh, we're doubling down on training, literally. We wanna train twice as many people in 2024 than we did in 2023. And in fact, we wanna triple in 2025 what we did in 2023. Uh, so that's a major initiative for us. We feel like the, the more we can get our information about our products, our company to the market, the more comfortable everybody will be with with our brand and our product and be more um, more willing and uh, able to utilize that product in their applications. Those are some pretty big goals, but I'm up for the task if everyone else is. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, so in all of these things that you've talked about, and maybe some other things, how can Hoshizaki America continue to differentiate itself in the competitive food service industry? Yeah, so it's really, it's more than product because that's, you know, mm -hmm. typically what we all think about in terms of differentiation. We're certainly committed to doing that um, along the way as well, but it's really about the people and how we interact with our channel partners, the level of service that, that we provide. Uh, we, again, just kind of repeating myself from earlier, we, we want to be a company that, that you want to do business with or you want to work for. So that's extremely important for us and that's, that's a huge differentiating factor. Of course, in innovation in what we do, like I mentioned before, is, is significantly important and we'll use the, the right technologies and best practices to make that happen. Um, you know, we also have a, a very unique opportunity with um, our participation in the Amer Hoshizaki Americas, which is made up of multiple companies, not just Hoshizaki America, but also um, Lancer, Dispensers, uh, and Jackson, Warewashing, and Macomb, a company in Brazil. Uh, and we have a great opportunity with that allegiance, that alliance of companies uh, to go to market in, in a very unique way. And we're taking advantage of those opportunities. The Hoshizaki Alliance does have some fantastic opportunities that we're gonna work on going forward. Um, I would say that communication is really key. So uh, maybe let's um, tell some of the people watching, you know, how they might best communicate with you Maybe do you have you know different open door hours? Um, are you going to do some town halls in the future? What's the best way people can get in touch with you? Yeah, I mean I have a standing open door policy. As long as my door is not closed, it's open. Um, and you know, I, and that's not enough. You know, as a leader, you've got to make sure that you're going out and being proactive and engaging with people one on one, small groups, departments, the entire organization at large. Uh, you know, town halls are something that are definitely in my plan. Uh, I know we did one last year. We plan to do at least one, maybe two this year, because it's extremely important for the entire organization to hear from its leadership as what's going on. Oftentimes, you know, people in an organization will hear things second or third hand, and of course a lot of things don't get communicated very effectively uh, that way. So I think it's important to be out front um, and make that part of my mission is to make sure that, you know, I'm talking to as many people as I can. And that's just, that's not just inside the company. That's also 
externally. I'm trying to form relationships. Having not been in the food service industry for more than two years, there's some runway there for me to build some relationships out in the market with our with our dealer partners and, and other you know, significant stakeholders out there. Alan, I really appreciate your time sharing your background, some of your vision and ideas and priorities for this year going forward. Uh, would you like to leave us with any last thoughts? Yeah, you know, I would say this is an exciting time uh, for Hoshisaki. It's an, an exciting time to be part of the Hoshisaki family. We're starting a new year here in 2024. All the old stuff with COVID and supply chain, knock on wood, is behind us. Uh, we're refreshed, we're renewed, we're ready to hit the market running. We've got plenty of inventory. Uh, yes, we're in the refrigeration business in addition to the ice machine business. So we are uh, definitely, I am excited uh, to get this year started. I'm looking forward to some great success. Uh, and hopefully you are too. Me too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs>